Good morning and welcome back to more Dave the Diver. You Dave by any chance? No. Yes, what is it sir? Wow, I'm always right about these things. Nice to meet you, I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the sea people civilization. The sea people? Ah, I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you about them? Maybe I shouldn't have asked. The sea people lives in legend. They are said to have occupied this region a long time ago. They worshipped fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. They lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasion. But sudden changes at sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's about all there is. Everyone thinks it's a myth now. But proof they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find. The one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You only see such things in comic books or games. <clears throat> that makes you so sure they were real. My assistant closely analysed an artefact found nearby and found that it's from no known civilization. It's dated to around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Hmm, interesting. But what does that have to do with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out and he won't be around for a good while. Uh oh. That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh. My assistant told me that the artifact was found at 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. We're, we're busy with the sushi bar, I don't think we can- Ha! <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra, I work with Dave. Of course we'll help you. We'll gladly do so. What? We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts? I think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Bancho Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Mm. Hmm, suppose you have a point. Mm. Alright, I'll help. Alright, isn't that lucky? Oh, of course I won't be asking for you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Aren't we lucky? Let's install the iDiver app. Okay, so here's how we upgrade our suit. We use the iDiver app to purchase the upgrades. We then get this, and we get the free diving suit. So then we can venture deeper. Now, since we have 137... Chapter 1, do we have a conversation here or are we free to move? Since we can now upgrade it, I'm thinking I'm going to upgrade first of all this. And I'm probably going to hold to do this again. My reasoning is there's a lot of air at the top and that becomes a bigger issue further down. The more fish we can get though, the more money we can make each night, because we need to upgrade our sushi in order to do it. So my plan is to dive in, find good sushi, and get this artifact. Starting with that poor little fish. <laughs> Dave dives into the sea, eyes off one fish, and just BAM! Mine. Poison tip. I'm not sure if I like the poison tips. Like, it doesn't seem to offer a lot. But it does at least give me the opportunity to... do a little bit more damage, if I recall. Oops. There we go, got that one as well. Because it is important that you are getting the same type of fish again and again, simply because it means you can actually upgrade 
your your tools. Uh, your sushi, sorry. I don't know why I said tools. Because you know, it's quality over quantity. That's the that's the the name of the game. We are a premier sushi brand. Oh. I forgot there's a mini game for these ones. There we go. As a leading sushi uh, restaurant, it is important to us that we do have the quality of the food. And I don't want to get attacked by those ones. So we're going down further. This is the level in which we expected to find the artifact as well. And see what I mean. There's another another oxygen down here. And we'll be able to just travel along and get some more. that one before he expires. There we go. A mackerel scad. You cheeky scad. Okay. Yeah, he's... Oh, he, he did. Okay, so we need to... They can actually die? Oh, wrong fish. I'm really sorry, buddy. I don't know how, uh, I, I don't know how advisable it is to poison the fish that you are catching to serve as sushi. I'm just going to throw that one out there. I'm, I'm, I'm debating the advisability of it. We are going to discard our fish because we don't want dead fish. We are a live fish only organization. Oh, Dave, I think that's the one. Come back to the boat safely. I'll be waiting. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a big one. What was that just now? I'll have to go back to the boat the right, right away. So we're a little overweight. Is there anything... Why does that pause? Why? I don't get it. I thought I... I thought I could take the stuff out. Oh, I just got inked. Again. Right, let's call the escape pod. So escape pods are just ways to get out from down. There we go. All right, you brought it out safely. Seems to be in very good condition. Almost as if it was stored until recently. Hmm. Very interesting. This may be the find of the century. Alright Dave, let's continue to work together and uncover the secrets. What? I thought I'd only be helping you once. Of course, say no more. Just put our restaurant at the top of affiliates. Won't be hard to do. I have a very lucky feeling about this. I'll be in touch. <sighs> Alright, we got more gold. That's a huge amount of gold for that quest. That's going to be huge. While you're out at sea, the repairs were completed. Let's head to the restaurant. Oh, I can't continue fishing. Bugger. Right, it's looking very nice. Doesn't matter how delicious the food is, restaurant can't be a mess. If you want to change the interior, the menu is open. So we're going to be looking at the, menu, the interior menu. 
If the remains of the sea people are found here, customers will indeed come, but this area is kind of remote. I think I need a way to advertise the store until then. These days, it's impossible. Have you tried the social media app named Cookster? You mean the social media app young people use to post pictures of the food they eat? Yeah, that's how all businesses are promoting. I simply can't understand why people would waste their time like that. Sushi makes an impression on the heart, not photographs. I love Bancho. He's got like the greatest, greatest view. Even so, isn't it better to use it than keep people ignorant of your food, Bancho? You have a point there. Making an account is simple. Let's try it out. You first register and make the hashtag Bancho Sushi, and then done. Never use an underscore in a hashtag. Well, it's not as complicated as I expected. That customer's happy with your food will follow Bancho Sushi. Hmm, not sure about this, but okay, I got it. Also, I'll install the Cookster app on my phone and check the followers' posts. There we go. So we just got to raise our our liking in that. We'll check out the interior stuff. We can swap to a more oriental look. That only costs us 65, well this would cost us 50. I think going an oriental look is good. I don't want the bonsai, I think that would be far too expensive, but Cobra's picture, for sure. I think, I think 65 spent there is a good idea. All right, let's head back. Oh, kitty. Mew, mew, mew. Good job. We've checked things out. Back to the boat. We can upgrade our air tank, our carry weight, and we'll hold on to the rest because I'd like to get the better harpoon because the better harpoon just means faster, faster collection of things, I'll say. All right. If you do enjoy this, I just want to do a little shout out for myself. If you do enjoy this, uh, make sure to follow me on Twitch. I'm live more often during the week. And uh, yeah, we do lots of games like this. Pretty chill, nice and casual. And I'd appreciate the follow there too. The dolphin. Huh, a dolphin? Seems it's asked me to follow. Did I try and follow? Yes. If a dolphin ever wants you to follow, always follow it's it's you follow and you tell me and i will congratulate you i will celebrate you i'm gonna just quickly oh what do we got a shock harpoon nice Oh no! Pink dolphin cord! I should cut that net, yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Boom, free. And they left me something. Seems you left a gift. I didn't even know dolphins had mates. A pearl. Nice. Oh, just. Oh, wow. Okay, I caught that in one go. Okay. Dang it. I'm pretty sure this, like an electric uh, harpoon is probably in illegal fishing. Uh, this captures creatures of the highest grade. So we're definitely going with that as opposed to the other one. Just simply because the highest grade thing 
very good. Okay, I need to make sure I'm pressing the right keys. X, A. B, X. Sorry, Nemo's mum. Or dad. Or both. Clownfish can change their sex. I always like the random little fish facts people know. Oh, we got it. So we can just go up and then just collect it like that. And just be like, thank you. And we can collect that. Oops. It's getting away. Stop him. Stop. In the name of the sea. AX. Anyone who hunts clownfish with a harpoon is seriously committing overkill. What's this one? The shock harpoon, but that's only a level one. I think we had a, a better one before. There we go. We can just collect these live jellyfish because they survive a few shots and that 40% chance is more likely to kick in. There we go. A whole bunch of live jellyfish simply because we can just pick them up. So if we go down... Yeah, that jellyfish will give us three. Good work. Good work. There's some more clownfish here, so we'll go for them. Oh, okay. Boom, been catching some good ones. Oh, there's some more up here. The reason I'm going for these ones is they're easy catches. They're in large groups and we can upgrade quickly because as I said before, the quality of sushi is the most important factor. So basically, if you can get a large quantity of the fish, it is better than like something that you can only get a little bit of, but is worth a little bit more. It's one of those systems where early game, really high leveled basic stuff will do better than uh, low level rare stuff. It's like when you play those those gacha games and such, you're better off maxing out a three or four star as opposed to having a mid-level five star. No, that's wrong one. So you are our last fish of the day. Good job. Time to head back up. Return to the boat. Okay. Plenty of things collected. Plenty of sushi. Even so, I don't feel stiff. Even so, Bancho's working alone. I should help. It's not easy to manage with two people. With more customers coming in. There we go. We're going to get that quest to get some more people in. Looks around. Bancho Sushi place, right? Hmm. 
<laughs> Miss Yoshi! Came by because I heard this place is getting popular and cooked up. Name gave me pause. But to think it's really your place. New food using newer, never be seen before ingredients. Can't taste this anywhere else. A tacticurn about a masculine chef. Wow, did they mention me too? No, not really. Tsk. In any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshi? Oh, various reasons. Wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like you're still the same. Well, there's nothing to change. I simply continue on day by day, training myself. God, that's the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion, and that's what got you booted from the hotel. You're talking about that again. That's the customer's fault for judging the food without even trying it. How long will you continue treating customers this way? To keep making that terrible food? What do you mean, terrible? Whole roasted shark head is an excellent dish. Shark has been used in cuisine in both the West and the East, and in Korea, it was even used in ancestral rituals. Stop. You've not changed one bit. Let me judge for myself then, whether it's food fit for consumption. Then I can tell you why I care. Fine then, I'll show you. I'll make sure you know the true taste of shark head meat. Bencho, isn't this development a bit sudden? Dave, as a chef, this is a fight I can't back out of. My pride hangs in the balance. Please get me a white tip reef shark head and olive oil. You want me to catch a white tip reef shark? Yes, with your skills, it should be easy to do. With my skills, and this gun that I made. Harpoon's not likely to be enough. Take a good gun with you into battle. Even so, fighting a shark sounds way too dangerous. Do you mean to say you'll just stand by and watch while my pride is trampled? The white tip reap shark is usually found in the ocean far to the right. Good luck. Oh god, he wants me to get him a shark head? And with a gun? I'll have to ask Duff to make me a gun. I'll search for one in the blue hole. Jokes on them. I've already found the gun. I've made the gun. So special customers can come along and they want specific dishes. That usually progresses the story or finishes a quest. We can also research new things once we get dishes there. Here we go. This is him with his idea. He has learned to cook. Whole roasted shark head. So we can now look at the menu and we can look at what we can upgrade as well. Like I said before, we've got a lot of clownfish, which means we can enhance it many times. The horrid look on this face. Oh no! <laughs> The poor fish. And we can level this up many times. See, we've leveled it up to level five. And we can put five of it on. And what? Okay, we don't make much money off that, even at level five, but still. We're going to level this one up. And we're going to put five of that on. So yeah, that's much better. This one's level four, so we can actually level it up to level five. And we can put five of this on. And then for the next one, we can take this red tooth trigger and put five of that on. So we have 20 dishes available. And I'm, I'm suspecting that that should be pretty, pretty good. I have no expectations that will sell out, but I'm hoping that we'll get a good amount. This place seems different. Yep, I will take this to you. While he's making the other one, I'm gonna pour you a cup. Another perfect pouring. And I will take this person their clownfish sushi. And tidy up after this one. There we go. So we're now working on, I think that's the blue tang. It melts in the mouth. 
Push. There we go. All right, hopefully we get more of a rush. It's kind of quiet at the moment. Can you please order? We, we prepared way too much sushi. I think this is like one of the worst nights we've had. Like seriously, we sold one, two, three, four, five, six bits of sushi. I prepared 20. We did get six likes and it was our best day. So maybe I just expected too much. And it's the next day. Hey Dave, I've got the luckiest news. What is it, Dr. Bacon? You look happy. I analyzed the artifact. A large amount of unknown substance. Uranium. I think it must be iron compressed deep underwater, but it gives off a unique wavelength. I went in ahead and developed a radar. Why is that news lucky? This radar is bound to come in useful for your next expedition. What do you mean my next expedition? Cobra forced me to go along last time. Hmm, I was given a contract with your name on it. Cancellation charge for breaking the contract is over 20. What? What are you talking about? Don't be though, but so by the book. Check the signal for me to test out the radar. Give it to me. I'll tell you if it works and nothing more. There we go. Right. So we have a bit more money. We don't have enough to get this though. So we're going to have to wait. Uh, we don't need to craft that. And there's no one that we actually need to call at this point. We can look through Cookster. We'll like that post. Sushi in the moonlight is twice as good. We'll uh, like all of those. I don't like the strange guy serving it though. Wow, I'm unliking that. We'll like that. And Bancho Sushi. They say you take a profile picture. It's hard. <laughs> there we go. In we dive again. Radio. So there we are. We're back in. I think we made most of our money off these kinds. So I kind of want to just go for these guys. And we'll see what else we can catch up next time. Okay, I don't want to use the shotgun. We've got to go for the shark head as well. So, so let's do that. Oh, ow, whoops. I was not looking where I was swimming. Uh, we also needed olive oil, but I think I already had some, so my plan is to catch these guys and then get the shark head. Oh, look at these expert just about to say these expert aiming skills and then missed pride goeth before the fall so we just got the hammer which is not great against regular fish but i will show you its benefits once we get through this part so we're going to go down and we're going to find the, the shark So, for this guy...
basically what you can do is this has a chance of knocking them out. Once they're knocked out, you can just pick them up. Did you know the fish at the park are free? You can just knock them out and take them, see? And this does very little damage, meaning you get a lot of hits for that, that chance to trigger. Oh, ow. There we go, see? Boom. I'm going to swim away from these because I don't actually want that fish. We've got to go fight the shark. And I'm just going to give this guy a slight whack to make him fall asleep. Maybe not. There's our shark, buddy. Now, because he's a big one, we can actually kill him without it uh, being a problem for the quality of the fish. I think we get more if we catch him fresh, but of course that's not always possible. So we have grabbed that, we are now over the weight, and we are running out of oxygen, so I'm going to grab these things. Okay, there's an oxygen thing resolved, but we've got the shark for the, oh, the shark uh, head food? I was trying to, trying to think of the actual dish. And it's like, the shark head food dish. There we go. Because I word great. Okay. We've got that. Oh, who is this? Oh, this is the Ash Ketchum wannabe. Hobbity hop. Do you know a lot about this giant blue hole? Not sure what to say to that. Different in there any t every time. That's it. Best place, place to collect Marinka. I could complete my collection in this place. Marinka? What? Don't tell me you don't know the highly popular Ocean Life trading cards, Marinka. How can you not have heard of the futuristic train cards that utilize an AI recognition? Yep, instantly. <laughs> Never heard of them. Sounds fun though. <sighs> you seem quite behind the times. Let me help you install the app. You do this, press here, touch that, add a friend. Don't touch a friend. Okay, what do I do now? The amazing thing about this Marin car is, you don't need to do anything. Just catch new fish, update the card. Fish collection and completion is now a thing. Don't want to be saying the name. I'll understand. I'll try it out. I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I'm Sato. I'll give you my contact info, so hit me up if you have questions. On these little paddle thing. Right, so that's a new fish collection thing. We're now going to dive back in and start hunting for tonight. Now we could probably get another shark. Which I'm not certain what the uh, benefit of that is, but hey. Worth a shot. We're also, oh, wrong fish. Sorry, buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Poor innocent bystander fish. There we go. Instead we got the innocent... Targets? There's a reason why I love the sniper rifle in this game. Some may say it's because the power of the shot or, you know, all of that. No, it's literally because I can properly target things. Okay, we've got that. Let us keep hunting. Now, it's been very clear that clownfish 
kind of defy my idea of higher quality low tier things. All oh, right, we got the net gun as well. So we can actually just go boom and catch two fish. Okay, I, I had hoped to get more from that. So hey, you know, take what you can get. And there we go, we got three. I, I only wanted to collect the net fish for the build because we'll be swapping back to the rifle. There is a lot of the ones that I want. But maybe I'm thinking we should dig down. Get some oxygen and keep heading down. I love the music in this. The music in this is so nice and chill. Ooh, gun upgrade. I'll take that. So that just gives one upgrade. It doesn't actually... It's not a permanent upgrade. It's just a... For the time of... Your weapon being down here. Dang it. I just missed that one. Uh, for the time of your weapon being down here, it's one level higher. There we go. There we go, and now we can head further down. I don't know how long until we can actually... Whoops. Okay. That's too long. Good. So, we don't want to capture them. Uh, sorry, we don't want to kill them. We, we want to capture them. So, if we can shoot them and they don't die... That's good, because that means we've just removed a bunch of health. Like Pokemon, they have to be under a certain health in order to actually catch. As you upgrade your Harpoon, you can do more damage. And then there's benefit sluches putting them to sleep. My gosh, this is just fishing Pokemon. Except you also get to eat them up, like, you get to serve them. Like... I just want this fish! Come on, fish! <laughs> oh my gosh! Dusky grouper. Oh, okay, now I'm overweight. That's... Lovely. Alright, we're going to go down. I was planning on going over. Can we drop anything? Like, I don't mind getting rid of the clownfish. And this one. What is our weight currently? 20. We need to lose 1.4. We're going to get rid of the snapper. I'm going to swap to the sniper rifle. The Red Angel of War penetrates targets marked with its laser sight. See? I can actually see where my, where my shots are going now. So, the reason I wanted to drop that weight is so I can complete this little bit. I want to make sure that we progress pretty steadily. When streaming the game, it can often be a, a case of... You really do have a lot of fun, you're chatting about the game as you go but I like being able to progress on the actual YouTube videos. Otherwise, you're left with 150 episodes of a series. <laughs> For an example, check out my Graveyard Keeper series that is up to un episode 155. All right, we're at a critical depth, and it's going to cost us in terms of oxygen. But we're just going to go down and around, and hopefully we can get some oxygen up here. So we need to quickly go up. 
I may have made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Oh, no. No. You always got to watch your oxygen. What am I keeping? That, that dusky grouper only gave me three bits of sushi. I am so disappointed in myself. I didn't realize how fast your oxygen goes down when you swim down and around. Um, this giant blue hole looks infinitely more dangerous than any other place. Always pay attention to your oxygen. Use the escape pod when you're in danger to get out quickly. I can rescue a few if you run out of oxygen, but you'll only have to bring back one of the items you collected. At least we got some guns, even if we didn't get a lot of progression on the fish. We did, however, get our special fish. So we're going to duck on over. And see what's going on over here. Right. So we've researched that dish. So the first thing we're going to be serving up is that dish. Secondly, we're going to enhance this. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're going to have two of those. Uh, we're going to do some jellyfish leveling. We're going to have those five. Apart from that, what else do we have that's decently leveled? We're going to level this up again. We're going to have five of that. So there is what? One, two, three, four, five. There is more food than we need again. But we have Miss Yoshi come in and we'll be able to feed her the dish that she really loves. I hope. There she is. Here we go. Disgusting as usual. The look of it just ruins my appetite. Even so, promise is a promise. I think she likes it. How do you like it? It's good, it's tasty. I can taste the white tip reef shark fat inside the crispy whole roast. But it's not an overly cloying flavor. Is, is this ginger? The ginger scent mixes with the strong flavor of the head. It's quite lovely. Ahem. Pardon me, I wasn't expecting it to be so good. The Book of Five Rings states that one should look at the essence of something instead of its appearance. Sharks look terrible on the outside, but they have robust meat, and their head has a delicious taste. This whole roasted shark head brings much tr such traits to their maximum potential. Must admit it, this is good. You pass. Let me tell you why I'm here then. This restaurant needs to hire people. I can help you with that. What do you mean? You mean to still go it alone? This place is already operating at full capacity. Things might be okay for now, but you won't be able to cope when even more customers come. I can't continue working alone, but it's not easy finding someone I can trust. I'm Yoshi the recruiter. That's what I do these days. Let's start by putting out a hiring ad. Alright, time to hire some people. Alright, let's get some employees. Let me tell you how to recruit staff. Right, so we go to staff. We press X to hire and we press A to OK because we are doing a flyer ad. There's TV and internet ads, which get higher level people, but we can't afford that right now. Here we go. Hiring's begun. Recruitment results become available the following day. I'll tell you more tomorrow. There we go. Yep. There's someone's green tea. I think you were the first one here. I like how the second person in also ordered the shark's head. I think that's that's a solid uh, 
Solid someone really interested in uh, checking out something new. Anyone else? We acquired bronze. Unlocked new recipes. And got new staff. Why are you sitting so far away? Come closer. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Alright, it's closing time, so no new people will come. And people are very hungry and eager now. No, take it. I don't think we'll be able to get this last one. Yeah, no, we won't be able to get the last one. Oh, we had one grumpy person, but hey, they came in right at the end. How'd we do? Oh, oh, okay. We, we did good. We did good. But we did lose right at the end. That that person is, is quite a rough one. And there we'll do it. We'll wrap that up for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I'm going to answer this, but I'm not going to talk about it. If you like the video, please do leave a like. If you'd like to see more, please do subscribe. And if you'd like to leave any suggestions, feedback, or anything down below, please do. Again, a big thank you to my Twitch and Patreon community who also support me. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do this, so leave... If you want to find out more about those, links are down below. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, bye for now.